Hi, in this video, I'll be talking about medications we call the luteinizing hormone releasing hormone, or LHRH analogs. Our bodies make LHRH, and an analog is just a mimic of that drug. It basically acts the same way that drug does. So when do we give the LHRH analogs and to whom? We use these medications in people who still have ovarian function after chemotherapy, who are at higher risk of getting a breast cancer recurrence. And your doctor may talk to you about this even if you're at relatively low risk. It's a temporary menopause, also called a medical menopause, in people who don't want to have their ovaries removed, still have ovary function, and want to either preserve the function, they don't want to have surgery or suppress the ovaries long-term. But short-term suppression of the ovaries for two or three years, depending on the studies that have been done, improves outcome in people who are menstruating at the time of diagnosis and continue to menstruate after chemotherapy. So in general, these will be given to younger people who have ovaries as opposed to people whose ovaries are already getting tired. But I've been surprised over the years. I have patients in their 40s whose ovaries start to work at the end of chemotherapy. And then somebody with a larger tumor, a higher grade, or positive nodes, thinking about being on an LHRH analog for a short period of time, along with the other anti-estrogen medications, so estrogen blockers or estrogen suppressors, if you're going to be on that as part of your treatment course, may improve your outcome. If you want to learn more about the LHRH analogs and whether these might be brought up as part of your treatment plan, go to yerba.com to learn more. I'd also like to mention that we can use the LHRH analogs to suppress the ovaries of people undergoing chemotherapy who would like to maintain fertility of the ovaries after chemotherapy. There have been a few trials not all of them have shown success. Not all of them have had people been able to uh, have children conceive and have children after breast cancer, but it's a very reasonable option to discuss with your doctor. Again, if you are interested in learning more about the LHRH analogs, visit yerba.com to learn more. In this video, I've covered LHRH analogs in the treatment of breast cancer and also as a way of preserving fertility these are reserved for people with ovarian function. In general, we don't use these drugs in the treatment of other cancers, though the effect of fertility preservation can be useful in other cancers. I hope this has been helpful to you. If it has, click like and subscribe. That helps other people find this channel and this video, people going through exactly what you're going through.